Today I'd like to talk to you about capital gains tax and the Let Property campaign and how the two things come together. Capital gains tax is a tax on selling an item. Now it can be a small domestic item, something over £6,000, but most people know about it because when they sell a domestic property. So I'm going to talk about domestic properties today, not about the other assets, just because that's where it coincides with the Let Property campaign. Now, we found that over the last few years, more and more people have been selling their properties. If you were to sell a property and you've lived in it from the start to the finish, there is no capital gains tax on that because there's an exemption. What a lot of people don't know is when they sell it, but they've also lived in it part of the time, but also they rented it part of the time, and that's where capital gains tax comes into it. It almost could be as if you used it for business as well. But the main reason I'm looking at here is when you're renting a property. OK, so, yeah. So when you sell a property, you have to pay capital gains tax on the difference between what you purchased it for and what you're selling it for. Simple. Not really. No, we've been finding people have been doing it themselves or trying to anyway with the capital gains tax. Uh, and coming a cropper, really, because there are quite a few complications and there are a few reliefs as well. So there's ways that we can help save you money. And that's what's important. Uh, recently, we did a claim where somebody was quite certain that they were right and they thought they had about £18,000 to pay. We got it down to 13000 because we know about all the capital gains tax rules and they didn't. Simple. So, yeah, so that's often when we're finding that people are selling a property and at that point they're sometimes going, oh, hold on a sec, I've rented this property. Should I be doing something about that as well? And that's where we come in with the Let Property campaign. So people often then start looking and Googling and finding my YouTube videos and go, oh, hold on a sec. I should have been declaring that rental income. It might be you've only rented for six months. It might be you rented for most of the time when you've owned the property. It doesn't matter how short or how long. And that's one of the more common misconceptions. It matters whether you've lived in it or not lived in it. If you haven't lived in it and you've rented it to anybody, that could be a family member, could be an aunt, uncle, sister, brother grandchild, all sorts of people. We get it all the time where people have been renting out to somebody. And it doesn't matter whether it's at market value or not. If you haven't lived in it, it's not your property. And it, well, it is your property, but it's not your principal private residence. So that's where the Let Property campaign could come in. If you've been declaring your income, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You have nothing to worry about. But if you haven't been declaring your rental income, then that's when the lot property campaign comes into it. Now, one of the things I really must warn you, if you decide to sell it, uh, put your capital gains tax in and just pretend that nothing, you, nobody will ever know, they will. HMRC are clamping down on this. When they get a capital gains tax computation coming in, they're checking. Why wasn't that person declaring the rental income? And that's when you get an inquiry instead. An inquiry is much worse than the Let Property campaign. Uh, the rules are harder. The, the inspectors are harder. So please, if you've sold your property and you put in your capital gains tax like you're supposed to, and then you think, oh, what do I do about my rental income? Please, please, please get into the Let Property campaign as soon as you can before HMARC catches you. Thank you. Time to shine.